Hello, it is Hunger Kittens here. Sorry about my voice. I I sound like a I sound like a little girl. That's yeah. I have a friend who sounds who is a guy and sounds like a um. What is it? A woman? Yeah, he sounds like a woman. My voice changes a lot, so I have different. Yep. Okay. Anyways, this is for Wapen. I'm gonna show you how to make a cover. Yay! Yay, guys! Woo! All right. So, click on create a design. Um, scroll down to this is for using Canva. This is for how to make a Wattpad cover for Canva. Go to blogging and ebooks. You can either select an ebook or a Kindle cover, but I usually select ebook. Because I like the layouts better. They have the same um, square by square, inch by inch, that thing, whatever. I don't know what it's called. Oh, are you taking forever to load? So, yep, yeah, that's it. That's how it works. Um, sorry. Now, this is the layouts. It just, it helps you, um, with ideas. It's not really important, I don't think. I mean, I don't ever use it. It just does that. You could use it, I guess, if you're not very good with ideas. But I think it's better to be original. The elements, just things you can put on here, um, free photos, just that stuff, grids, th I don't, I, I don't, it's just how you can set up photos, like collages, frames, it's another thing like collages, shapes. There are shapes. That's it. They're literally just shapes. They're boring and they're shapes and it's random and it's weird and oh why? It's okay. I guess I've actually never used the shapes. And they're just a bunch of lines. It's just yep, lines. Illustrations. Just pictures you can put on there. It's more cartoonish, not very good. I've never used it personally. It's not a lot. Just Canva symbols. Create a Canva. Yay! I think it's neat. Maybe. Yeah. And then charts. I don't know why you'd ever use charts. Just. Uh, it's weird. Canva's weird. They have weird. And there's icons. I think the charts and the icons are for more like business things. Mm -hmm. And there's text. Now, is this text backend and uploads is what you'll normally use. Okay. So it has like kind of different designs and layouts of text. Let me show you. So it's like. Normally, this is where I put the author's name. Or you could put... Hold on. If you are making a title, I would suggest doing something like... Nope, let me get the heading. Uh, if I wanted to make it look cooler. Or you can adjust it because if you do it in a row, it doesn't adjust well. If I ever use this one, I usually I usually just use it for like I said, authors' names. Um, yeah, that looks cool. Let me just you know I'll just delete it. So yep, just stuff like this. I know stuff like where it has that in the middle i like that um and then this is just these are just layouts 
And then down here are like the shapes. Yep. Then there's this. I actually never use this one. It's weird. But I guess you could narrow it down, make it small, make it small, smaller, type in love and put it on someone's shirt or something. <laughs> it's just kind of neat. And then is here's where I get more creative with um book covers and stuff. <laughs> I think down here there's like the hello, those things, um, the quote thingies. What's neat? You can see it right here. Yep. And, then there, and there's banners right there. But that's pretty much. Background. Okay, guys. Basically, a background is it's not the photo, it's the background, the entire background of it. Like. It's, it's the thing underneath the photo. You'd put the background here and then the photo on top of it. And here, I'll show you. Here's a photo, which is simple since it's transparent. By the way, this took me forever to burn because background burner was not downloading my photo like that. But if you do want a photo with a background, it's like that. I know I've done something like Life After Suicide, creating that book cover, and Guilty Pleasure, where I did this. I call me Willow. She's such a nice girl. And I did it like that. See, it works. It's kind of like a frame. Oh. Oh, I thought that was white. And then you can turn it back. And then you can just have different colors. Whatever suits you best. Undo. 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 Whatever, I'll just click undo. Undo, 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 undo. Good. Okay. Redo. There we go. So now let's create a book cover. Uploads. Mm, pretty. Oh, I guess I should get a free photo. So, what we're gonna do is go to Elements. Bam, ba -dum. Oh, hold on. Free photos. Oh, free photos. Um. Um, here we go. Oh, wait, no, this one will be better. I know it'll fit the frame better. But you're gonna have to expand it, no matter what. Use the... Yeah, use... Okay. Um... If you want to do a background, you could do that. Wait, hold on. And then you could do this. But C's is free because if you pay for it, for some of the features, you have to pay. Okay, so there's that. And we go to text. Let's see. What do we want to call our book? Um, Let's call it. Mm, the trip. Oh, yep. Only 10 minutes. So, this will be part one. I'll upload a part two. Yep. All right. See you guys. I'll think of a name or something. <laughs>